Hey, Tim DeStacio here, and this is the second video in my series, Making Measure Quick Easy, where I try to determine whether Measure Quick is actually a viable solution for a small HVAC business. Now, last video, I talked about some of the hurdles that I personally face trying to implement Measure Quick in my small business and contracting business when I was an employer. Uh, and so this video, I'm going to get into why we need software that does what Measure Quick does and why simply the apps that come with the smart probes that we use, those apps aren't good enough. A lot of these apps simply are looking at refrigerant pressures and line temperatures. Maybe they give you superheat and subcooling, but that's about it. And congratulations, we have a digital set of gauges. Those have been around for 20 plus years. Uh, other smart probe apps have a few other insights. For example, they use air temperature hygrometers that measure temperature and humidity. They give you a few workflows there. They give you a temperature split. Maybe uh, they combine that with the refrigerant side for a report. But again, very limited diagnostics and reporting. Um, in fact, I think of only one that can really take all that information and actually give you a PDF report, but that report doesn't have any targets that are based on outdoor temperature, indoor humidity, what kind of metering device you have, what kind of compressor you have, what the sear rating of the unit is. None of those things move that that needle or that target where it needs to be. So again, uh, really Measure Quick is the only app that I've seen that actually takes all those variables and does something with it to dial in what your target performance should look like. In fact, it even is able to crosstalk with other probes and meters like this power quality meter from Subco so we can actually take a sear rating of this system that we're working on. That's amazing. No other app is able to combine all the technologies that's out there to do that. Uh, now you may think, well, are we just creating a solution for a problem that doesn't exist? But I think a problem does exist because we have way too many systems that are not performing well. All we have to do is run a few service calls and we realize that there's a bunch of airflow problems and there's a bunch of charges problems and every time a technician wants to check a system they put on gauges they lose a little bit of the charge or they bring over some contamination from the last system that they used measure quick has a way to check a system without gauging up it's called non-invasive testing and that's another thing that makes measure quick very unique so I think that there is a problem that measure quick is solving some people say well all this technology and things like measure quick is just dumbing down the industry well, when you think about it and it shifts that responsibility from the imperfect human that can make mistakes, that can get lazy and not get the information they need, and this shifts that responsibility to software and to a process, a process that can be repeated over and over again, no matter which employee is using it. And I think that's really important as we try to start developing processes that are repeatable is to make them easy for newer technicians to use them because not everybody in the industry has 25 years of experience. And we need to get people into trucks and out there diagnosing equipment, but doing so accurately. And that's what Measure Quick helps us to do. We also need a way to document the performance of a system when we start it up because we're working with a lot of more utility programs, energy programs, sustainability programs, and they need documentation. And as a small contractor who had a few customers here and there that would try to burn you, try to blame things on you that weren't your fault, Measure Quick allows you to document your process, document your performance so you can cover yourselves and so you don't get taken advantage as a contractor. So we need all this technology, but we need the technology to be easy to use and we need it to be intuitive. And for years, Measure Quick wasn't. Okay, it was very difficult to use. Only a very small portion of the technician population out there was actually using it. But hopefully that's going to change with their guided workflows. And again, I've been given beta access to them to see whether or not this is something that has legs that can help uh, contractors and technicians do their job better and easier and hopefully make better profit uh, and have fewer callbacks and just make the industry better. So next video, I'm going to get right into one of those guided workflows. We're going to commission my home system as a new installation commission, commissioning. We're going to use this guided workflow, and you'll see what I see in the iPad. You'll get my thoughts in real time. So enough talk. Let's get it done.